What's going on guys? Johnny the High Tech Guy here. Today we're going to be doing a, a setup and review of the Blink Video Doorbell Plus the Sync Module 2. Now it's very important that you know what the Sync Module 2 is because that is the reason why I got this instead of just the regular Blink. Okay, so the Sync Module 2 is the option to where you do not have to pay a monthly fee to host your videos in, in their cloud service. Okay, so you don't have to pay monthly fee. Now you're thinking, hey dude, it's only three buck a month monthly fee. You're gonna, you're gonna make this up in a year, right? Um, in a year, if you like this camera and you decide to get other cameras like the Blink cameras that I may actually get, leave a comment in the description if you want me to do a review on the Blink cameras, uh, not the doorbell camera, but the actual cameras. What you'll need to do if you upgrade, right, you will need to pay $10 a month. Now all of a sudden it gets higher. So starting off, no monthly fee. The Blink video doorbell with the Sync Module 2 is about 36 bucks more total than the actual Blink. And I'll go ahead and show you all the specs and stuff here in a second. But the main important thing is money for me is I don't want to pay a monthly charge. I've already paid monthly charge for everything else. I don't need to keep adding monthly charges. Um, you know, with inflation and stuff going on, I think you understand where I'm coming from. But if it's not a big deal to you, you don't need to get the Blink, uh, the, the Sync Module 2. So your preference, your choice, right? Uh, let's go ahead and open this thing up and uh, check it out. But first, let's go ahead and do the specs real quick because everyone wants to know the specs, right? All right, so uh, I'll leave a link in the description below on this Sync Module 2. Um, either one, you could do wired or wire-free. It comes with the connections, or you don't have to use it. You can use batteries. It uses two AA batteries, which uh, I'll use the uh, rechargeable energizers, and I'll show you a, uh, and I'll leave a link to that in the description below too, because they're really good. So this thing costs about 80 bucks here on Amazon with the uh, Sync Module 2. And with the Sync Module 2 and USB drive sold separately, you'll need to get a USB drive, okay, uh, which I actually have, and I'll leave, and I'll show that to you once I get this set up. Or I'll leave, a, and I'll also leave a uh, link in the description below for that, the one I use. Um, you can do wire, wire free, it doesn't matter. Set up yourselves in minutes, two AA batteries, comes with it. Works with Alexa. Um, you can receive motion, chime alerts, arm to solve your bell. Um, one doorbell, one sync module, two mounting kit. Screws and anchors, we'll take a look at all that stuff. Okay, so let's see here. The specs, show me the specs. So you can do HD uh, video day and night, two way audio, chime alerts, two year battery life. Okay, we'll see about that. Um, if you have not seen my video on the UFI doorbell, then I'll leave a link in the description below on that or somewhere up here as well. We'll go ahead and you can do wire free or wire uh, two colors. I got the black one here. I'll show you that one here in a second. So sign in, create the account in the Blink app, add your devices, and install the thing. So it works with Alexa. Uh, subscription plan, this is what I was talking about. A 30-day free trial, but then it's 3 bucks a month per device or $10 a month for unlimited devices. No thank you. With the Sync Module 2, save your clips locally with the included Sync Module 2 for no additional fee. USB drive flash, US flash drive required sold separately. Okay. I'll have to get one of those if I don't have one. I think I have one. Okay. Tech specs. Field of view. 135 degrees horizontal, 80 ver vertical. Record and view in 1080p HD during the day with infrared HD at night. Uh, capture video images in 640 by 360. Uh, up to 30 frames a second. Uh, doesn't weigh that much. Two AA lithium batteries, sync module, power converter. Okay, you can plug it in. Battery life up to two years based on default settings. Features may vary up. Um, always on high speed internet connection. Wi Fi. So it's a 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, this is important here. So it's a 2.4 gigahertz device. Okay. But if you have 5G like I do, and a lot of people do, 
their your internet provider usually I'm gonna say usually because the the two that I use Frontier and Verizon uh, uh, we're on Eero now I don't know who that I think that may may still be uh, Frontier something like that but um, they have a setting in the Wi-Fi where you on your app you just stop the 5G and it turns to 4G or it automatically detects that it's what mine does it automatically detects that it's a 2.4 gigahertz and it automatically does the does the thing and so you can use 2.4 on some internet providers but make sure that you find out first okay anyways let's go back that was very important okay that's that's a make or break to some people battery or wired connection no problem we can do either one I'm gonna do the the battery uh, you can use Android or um, iOS and fire iOS fire I guess that's the Amazon one blink app is a blink home monitor in the box is the doorbell we'll show you everything in the box okay audio speaker output two-way recording uh, one LED ring to help you know when it's active. Flashes in blue, red, and green. The warranty, one year limited warranty. Support, click here for the support. Setup guide, okay, first generation, all right. Operating temperature, negative four to 113. Out of 55,000 uh, ratings, it's a 4.3, so that's pretty good. That's very important. I don't think you can get that many fake ratings. Hopefully not. That's that's real good. 4.3 out of 5 is real good for any product for 55,000 ratings. That's great. Okay. That's pretty much what we'll do here. Let's go ahead and open up this box. So, open this box. Boom. Looks very nice. Check that out. Very cool looking. Peace of mind at your door. Okay, it gives you a little arrow here. So, there's a tab right there that you open oh this is pretty slick right here too look at that okay so it tells you getting started with blink is easy it gives you directions we'll go ahead and do that but we're going to go ahead and it also gives you directions here so directions right off the bat and it doesn't have a, a book I guess that you have to read which is really good nice and simple Amazon nice and simple Amazon owns blink by the way if you did not know here is the sync module 2 very nice lightweight it looks like okay don't know what you do with that I guess you put it somewhere we'll find out here's the video doorbell very nice looking battery compartment right there here's the back of it okay so you um, Here's the holes where you drill, so you put that up against the wall. Say I'm the wall, you put that up against the wall right there. So hidden in this box here also, hidden in, the, in this box, you pull this out. And you've got your screws. Okay. And something else here. Looks like your uh, charging cable perhaps. Looks like a corner mount. A wedge mount looks like a corner so so you can put it at an angle in case that uh, in case you need to an angle okay so if your wall needs to have an angle it will angle it out okay um, oh more screws something heavy this out oh don't do that the charging brick that's cool and two oh look at this two energizer batteries look at that real name brand batteries okay energizer ultimate lithium all right so you need lithium ion I guess lithium batteries and they say that those two last for up to two years. We'll see. Uh, and, you know, the reviews actually say, a lot of them say that it lasts a long time. So we'll see on that one. And then we'll have the, um, looks like we've got the the reset pin. So make sure you don't lose that. Lo looks like a pretty different one than what most, than, than what the doorbells that I'm used to. The UFI and the, um, I guess just the UFI, huh? And then it'll give you a little blink doorbell quick start guide okay so that's everything there let's go ahead and see what the quick start guide says 
Very nice. It's not a whole book, so I like that. So just gives battery safety, product specs, product specs, safety information, recycling. So it's not really a quick start guide. Okay, three simple steps. Take this thing right here. Peel this thing off. Put the screws in. Boop, boop. Screws. Take this doorbell. Put your batteries in and mount it. One, two, three. Okay. And then we'll do. We'll follow all these instructions and stuff too. So don't worry. You don't have to read that. Let's go ahead and get started. First things first. We're going to download the app. All right. I got the iPhone. So whatever phone you got, you know, I got the cheapo. And hopefully all I got to do is scan that thing. So that's what I'm going to do. Yep. I just scan it. And it comes up here. I know you guys can't see that. How to set up your device. It says, before you begin, everything you need before setting up, setting up your Blink doorbell, setting up. Oh, okay, so it gives you step by step. Setting up your Blink doorbell. Okay, that's the one I'm going to click right there. Setting up your Blink doorbell. Gives you a link to the Blink app. Or you can just find it right there. Get. All right, I installed the app, and I'm getting to the place where it says install the sync module. Okay, I don't know if you can read that thing. Plug in your sync module and wait for the lights to display. Okay, so this right here is the sync module. I'll plug it in. Oh, there's tape covering this thing, so I'm going to remove the tape. It's kind of hard. Not really. Ugh. All right. Got to get your fingernails in there. That's probably the hardest thing right there. Get that tape off. All right. So plug this thing in to this the right way. Okay. Here you have that. Then plug this into this. This into there. Okay. And plug it into the wall somewhere. Okay, so I've got the uh, sync module installed with the uh, the app. It uh, asked me to scan the QR codes a couple of times. Oh, one time on the camera, one time on the sync module. And then the lights turn blue, blinking blue, and blinking green. But at the end, uh, it all both lights, the blue light and the green light, are solid. So it, it works. Okay, so... 5G network, it install, it uses, uh, it, it worked on the 5G network, so everything's cool. I need to just put the batteries in and then to get it set up into the wall. Okay, so now I need to insert the batteries. Okay, so inserting the batteries. So these little tabs right here, uh, that's where the negative goes. So this one, the fat end goes this way. Okay. This one goes upside down. Okay, peel this thing off. Okay, so it's going to adding your blink doorbell. Okay, you want to put the batteries in first before you scan the QR code. Okay, I had to delete it because I didn't follow instructions right. So add the batteries, then scan it. Now it's adding right now. Updating firmware, this will take a few minutes. All right, so the Blink video doorbell has been added to your app. Do you want to mount your Blink doorbell on your wall? Yes, Mount. click the Mount Blink doorbell button. Your Blink video doorbell, click your doorbell, two screws. Two wire nuts, paper, mounting template. I guess that's this. Okay, so you need a power drill <laughs> and sticky tape. Got a power drill and sticky tape. Okay, continue. Would you like to wire your video doorbell to your chime box? No. So it asks you, do you want to wire? No. Are you going to mount the blink in place of the existing doorbell? No. Are you using a wedge or corner? No. Drill holes in the desired blink doorbell position. 
So I need to peel this off. Uh, it's taped on there, so take the tape off. Okay, take that off. I'm going to drill the holes. Okay, show in this picture, drill the holes, beep, beep, between 40 and 48 inches high on the wall. Okay, so tape this onto the wall, drill the holes, screw in the back cover to the wall, and then put the video doorbell. Okay, so tape this up, drill the holes, put this on, screw, uh, screw in the screws, take the camera, put it on there. Okay, let's go do it. All right, so you can see the template here, and you can see that the uh, back of it has the, the way you put it on is you match that key right there to the same key. So you know, you don't put it that way, right? You put it that way because the key, if you can see that key right there, matches that key, so that's cool. The hole that I used, 1 8 inch, we'll see if that works. Uh, I'll go ahead and mount this like this with those two dots showing. Not that side. That side's not good right there. This is the flat end. So this is the side that it snaps onto, okay? This is the flat end you put against the wall, all right? So this is what it's going to look like right there. We'll see. Well, looky there. It didn't tell you what pilot holes to, to, to uh, drill, so 1 8 inch is very perfect. I'm going to go ahead and stick that camera on there. All right, so you want to uh, put the camera, start it from the top. And then, I need two hands for this, but you start from the top and then let it snap. Oop, it's gonna rain. Now that was super hard to get that on and I wanted to tighten it some more, but it's pretty tight there, but it's super hard. It was super hard to get that on. And then I can't very easily get it off and I gave up trying because when I stick this thing in there it seems like it's, it doesn't work because it just does that. That's kind of weird. So that was what I don't like about it. Can someone steal this? I think it's on there really good but it just didn't seem like it didn't seem like that's, that's what it was going for but anyways we will test it out and see what it's like but it's uh Raining cats and dogs right now. Well, it's just raining. Uh, you hear that thunder? All right, we'll see what kind of video recording this thing does. Let's check it out. All right, so on the doorbell, one mistake I made, okay? Let me tell you the mistakes. When you put it, when you attach it, okay, to anywhere, I had to move it. If you notice, it's on the door now. I had to move it from here because at night, what it does is it shines a infrared light, right? So the infrared light here was, was looking out here, okay? But it was bouncing off this wall and this wall here, but mostly this wall, okay? And then shining back. So you couldn't really see the, um, you really couldn't see the, um, the picture at night, okay? And I was like, man, that is, it is bad. But you'll see when I give you some replays, uh, and I hope it doesn't do that anymore, but uh, we'll, we'll see what happens tonight anyways. So that's set up and, and it's really solid. Feel how solid that is, see that? And the other mistake I made, okay, not here, but uh, you'll see when I come back to it, how solid this is, right? It feels real nice and tight. I had to do something else. If you look at my video on the UFI, what I did was I drilled holes through this metal door, okay? This door is, is made out of metal, so I would not recommend drilling holes. Now I'm gonna have to like put two peepholes or something back there, but now you're like, well, how did you mount this? I used a trick, look. So this is pretty, it's very strong, okay? So I used, and don't laugh, okay? I used, this permanent industrial strength mounting tape, this Gorilla mounting tape, okay? 
Gorilla mounting tape holds up to 30 pounds. Now, it, it uh, plastic, metal, wood, glass, brick, ceramic, stone, and more. Okay, so, but don't laugh because this is a permanent tape. Okay, I'm gonna have to, once I take this off, maybe years later, I'm gonna have to paint that, uh, paint that door again because it, uh, it conforms to rough surfaces, which is good for bricks. Okay, this is bonds permanently. This is permanent tape, okay? So y'all be careful. It might take off the paint, might take off all this other stuff, but it's very strong. Y'all saw how strong it was, okay? So I'll leave a link in the description below on this, but you're thinking, dude, tape ain't gonna hold that. We shall see. We shall see. It sure as heck beats, sure as heck beats uh, drilling a hole through your metal door, doesn't it? And it feels, feels very sturdy, feels very sturdy. So it actually felt sturdier than my uh, UFI when I drilled it, uh, drilled the hole in there. But we'll run some tests. We'll see how it goes. But, um, and we'll see if it, if it hits these pillars here. So these are the pillars that it was hitting with the, um, with that, with the infrared light, but we'll check it out and see. Okay. More to come. All right. So there you have it on the installation. I'm going to, um, upload some of these videos. I'm going to do a couple of more, um, couple more tests at night uh, so I'll go ahead and um, run some tests at night run some tests during the day wait a couple of days I'll show you guys what it picked up at night what it picked during the day and then um, then we'll go from there all right